and and uh, what her her personal politics was. They may not have liked it anyway, because I I honestly I didn't see any reason for a man to like what she stood for. But if you won't get them to listen, you definitely ain't gonna get them to vote for you. Now shout out to to um uh, K N slash Kareem. Okay, I see we we doing something different now. K N slash Kareem. Thank you very much, sister. So, so she says she also needs a husband. And, and you know what? Um, having yep. a husband would definitely help her out a great deal. Yep. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure she wants a husband. <laughs> uh, no matter of fact, I'm I'm pretty positive she doesn't want a husband. You know, her life has told me there's no speech in a husband. Life. Yeah. Did you hear the what, concession what speech? Did you hear the concession speech last night? She thanked everybody in her family with the exception of two people, her daddy and a husband she didn't have. Well, I mean, Stacy is above 30. I'm pretty sure she don't want no husband. Now, <laughs> uh, the thing is, I mean, there's rumors out there that she that she even uh, plays for the, for the other side. You know, she's playing for the other team. So I, she may never want an actual husband, but I know she don't want no husband because she don't have no husband. If if she wanted a husband, she would have one, okay? And and that's what I got to look at when it comes to women who are over 30 years old. If you wanted one, you had one. So she obviously don't want no husband. Now, the thing is, that would help her a great deal. But if she don't want to move in that direction to get the victory, you know, she don't even want to have an arranged marriage for political sake. You know, ain't nothing we can do with that. You know, but yeah, that would give a lot more men more confidence that she would actually look out for their interests. Because right now, I don't see where men would look at her and say she's looking out for my interests. And if men don't see you looking out for their interests, as much as women try to pressure men to do something so we can have a woman do this and a woman do that, I don't care about you becoming the first woman governor if that first woman governor don't care about men. You, you can't get me to say, hey, I want to make history by having her as the first female governor and she don't care nothing about men. Those two things don't work together for me. And I'm pretty sure for the most normal men, those two things have to work together. And she made it where she would make it even look like it. she was going to try to make it work together. So she's, she's doing a whole lot to make sure she can't win. Okay. Or, you know, Maybe she has the attitude that I want to win it the way I want to win it. And I, and I do get that because people do that. Heck, I do it myself. You know what I'm saying? I got I got to get the victory the way I need the victory to be because of what I'm trying to do beyond the victory. So she probably really wants to do this where she can say men didn't really help her get it done. And I get that. But it costs sometimes. And in this particular case, it cost her another election. But I'm sure she's coming on for the third time, y'all. I, I don't think she's done at all. I really don't think that. So shout out to Alpha Male Syndrome who said, "I said on Twitter she's hard on she's hard on the eyes." <laughs> A black woman came to her defense. Um, what does looks have to do with with it? If she's intelligent and confident, I said she's old and two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Real oh. talk. Real talk. <laughs> that was fun. Alpha male syndrome. Shout out to you, brother. You salute, <laughs> Alpha male. Salute. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but golly, brother. <laughs> the real talk on, on the note you were speaking of, Roger. Think about it. In her defiancy. Like I said, I'm gonna keep on harping on it because it 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 told it told something if you could read between the lines. It was four to five women up on that podium. Four to five. Not not now man up there. And I've been following politics since the early 80s, since my grandmother been dragging me around to do this crap. And in all my years of seeing acceptance speeches and, and losing speeches, it was always men and women and children up there on that podium. A mixture talking about we gonna work together some some way some type somehow, either accepting it for the win or the loss. But oh, not not this chick last night. She showed you in her divinity where she lay in her 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 hat and her heart. It was nothing but four to five women up there, and I, everybody she was congratulating and consoling was nothing but women. And, and I want to thank this. Not no men. 
No, no, man. So we know what side of the bat she batting on. More power to her. I ain't mad at her. But guess what? You reap what you sow by not trying to extend your olive branch hand across the aisle. But I digress. Sometimes you gotta you gotta think about things from a political look. And and like I said, the the look she has when it comes to her campaign, when it comes to her campaign, seems like she don't care about men at all. And why would I vote for a woman who doesn't seem like she care about men at all? Um, shout out to Jaday. I'm going to give it to AB. Um, he, Jaday says, Roger, you're a dangerous man of the moment because you make too much sense in a dysfunctional environment. These women don't value standards. They love drama, chaos, and confusion. They know what's up. Well, well you know what? I appreciate you saying that, Jaday. I definitely appreciate that. And... Uh, Stacey Abrams should have been, you know, she should have been able to use that information to her advantage, but obviously she couldn't get the job done, you know. But, you know, you got to, I mean, you got to speak to at least some of the men, you know, some of the time. But every time I check in on her and her campaign, it just seemed like she was never speaking to men's issues. And as a voter, I ain't going to vote for nobody who don't care nothing about my issues. And that's what women used to claim back in the day. They used to claim that because men was in charge, Y'all didn't care about what we thought. That's what women said all the time. You know, I ain't saying it was true at all, but at least they would say that. So men would, would give them some level of empathy or even sympathize with them in certain situations. She don't seem like she interested in, in uh, speaking to men whatsoever. Now, granted, I don't live in Georgia, so I have not followed her as closely as others. But you got to at least look like you care about men a little bit. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead, A.B. How you doing, my brother? Hey, what's going on, Roger A.L.? Uh, she lost, and... Uh